issues of an association on a statewide basis are complex. What's even more complex is the bureaucracy of government, where those bureaucrats have to perform something to retain their job. To create obstacles is a bureaucrat's job. Bureaucrats typically make a problem so that they can fix a problem so that they can say, we did something. Job security. Job security. Job security. Hey it happens in every aspect of life. The Dental Association deals with it. The Michigan Chiropractic Association deals with it. Last year, the legal environment dealt with it with something you may have heard, a tax on legal services. We fought that. We fought it hard. It took about a thousand people <coughs> coordinated to keep the legislators from taxing you as consumers of legal services to pay more and thus deny you even more access to the courts. Something you're talking about with FOIAs. It's very complex, but I, I got to tell you, there's a lot of energy in the room here. There's, there's a lot of passion for this sport. Um, I think we've, we've pretty much begun to build this foundation of strategic planning for the Michigan Snow Wheel Association, which is the only advocacy group in the state of Michigan that can speak on behalf of snow billing in this state. There's a great opportunity as a monopoly here. It's not like that in other industries or special interests. I can tell you that the, the, the chiropractors in the state of Michigan have two very conflicting organizations, and they compete for members, and because they do that, they water down their issues. Well, we've got conflicts here, right, amongst uh, snowmobilers and special interest groups within the organization. Uh, but as I said earlier, that conflict is an opportunity for change. It's an opportunity to make it for positive change. We started it today. We laid some of the building blocks. Take a look at all the work that you guys did. Um, and uh, again, I remind you that this is your challenge to the leadership of the MSA to take your opinions, what you think ought to be done, perhaps some of your ideas on how it should get done. Now their job is to take it into some strategic planning to spend a day or whatever it takes to come out with a plan, with a living, breathing document, a strategic plan, and then share that with you. And then over time, <laughs> implement that plan. And when implementation comes, it may take, who knows, more volunteers, more people to get off the sidelines and get in the game. It may take hiring new people. We don't know right now. But it's not an overnight process. So for those of you who think something's going to change between now and September, don't hold your breath. Who was talking? It's taken years. These issues have been around for years, and they always will be. But we continue to fight the good fight. Uh, so again, congratulations to you guys. Thank you for the participation. To the board, cheers. a few of the words. I want to thank you all for very much for coming and getting involved. Um, I guess my question to you is, do you feel it was worthwhile today? Absolutely. 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 If we have another meeting like this, would you like to have Rick facilitate it? Yeah. Pro bono. Okay. You heard that, Rick? We're not going to get him off the hook yet, are we? We got him started. Now. Yeah, it took Bill 20 years to get on the payroll. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a goal. <laughs> 20 years ago. I think, I think Rick deserves a hand. He did it. I want to wrap this up. We've been here quite a long time. There's been a lot of input. <coughs> As you can see, if you look around the room, there's a lot of information just given to Michigan Snowmobile Association. Welcome. I think we have a partnership that's long overdue. And that partnership belongs between Michigan Snowmobile Association, the snowmobilers, 
and especially the backbone of snowmobiling, and that's the grand sponsors. Without you guys, again, we have moguls about this tall and we'll be running. It would be like the old days, exactly. You wouldn't have to worry about speed limits. Exactly. <laughs> I like to I like to close and and to put things into perspective. Five years ago, and that's how long it's been, when that work group got together and tried to get some information to the DNR, because they said, you know, we've got some policies in the program. We want to clarify the program because we've got grand sponsors. <coughs> That are not happy. We've had some complaints, so let's put this let's put this to bed. We went down to Ross Common. We walked in. We didn't know what to expect. We thought we were going to have a hell of a fist fight in our hands. Within 30 minutes, we thought we had things under control. We got the best lip service I ever seen. I got snow so bad I was shoveling and going, thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> and that's what it was. And that's what it was. It was a snow job, okay? Shame on us. Shame on us. So did you learn? <laughs> exactly. We did learn. But well, we have to get a little bit. No. Yes, and that's did. why I mean now. That's why we asked to partner with the best partner that we can find. So, with all these pieces of information, we have a lot of work ahead of us. And I say us, because we're partners now. Partners help each other. Because Bill can't do it, Karen can't do it, past presidents, the SAC committee, myself, Jim Dickey, Martin Cottle, Bruce Wood, we can't do it ourselves. We're going to need assistance. You guys, we need you as much as you need us. So that is a good partnership. Thank each and every one of you. Bob. I just don't mean to interrupt you, but just yes. remind people of the SAC committee date and time. May 2nd, 10 a.m., BJ's Restaurant, Gaylord. Thank you. If you, can, if you can make that meeting, please make that meeting. That is going to be one of the most important SAC meeting in a long, long time. Are they open to the public? And it's open to the public. If you can make it down there, please. Please make that mean oh, it's really important. No. We want to fill the room so they got to stand. I don't, don't want to finish, finish yes. your closing, but are we going to be able to? Hold on, hold on, folks, hold on. Are we going to be? Able, three minutes. Are we going to be able to talk? Like the email said, the meeting's running from ten to two, and they want they, they want to put the bylaws in place and whatever on there. So I mean, Let's, are let we me, going to have to email them or call them? And say, hey, I want to have my time. Let start. me let me give you Robert's rules. It's a public meeting. Public Open. comment has to be given. Now it can be limited, but public comment can be, has to be given. It's a public meeting. Until now, it be. Yep. now again, you got a new chair, but who knows yes. how it's going to run. That's right. But bottom line, a public meeting has to have public comment. If we block the door, we can't get out. Okay. It doesn't make, you know what, it doesn't make a difference if they let us talk. Our presence will speak for us also. We invited the media? In, yes. Okay. I'm not here to bash, bash the DNR like I said before. We have a task ahead of us and we're going to take care of that task. With your assistance, it's going to be a hell of a lot easier. Once again, I want to thank each and every one of you taking the time out of your busy schedule to come here and spend some time with us. Thank you very much. And remember, let's get her done. Thank you.